shared a house with uh, three roommates. We all were uh, uh, in, uh, we were all English majors and we shared an English class together. And uh, <clears throat> you know, we'd have to write short stories and poems. And we decided to create this uh, character, this hipster character we called Nemo Bop. And each one of us would take turns writing a stanza. And this guy, you know, he hated poetry. That was the one thing. He was just he hated everything, actually. And uh, uh, and the teacher, you know, we'd submit it, and the teacher, would, the professor would read it, and um, you know, and he'd look around. Who the hell is Nemo Bach? You know. And, uh, but it became like the classroom joke, and we kept submitting poems every time there was a class assignment, and everybody seemed to kind of dig what was going on. Then they had a poetry contest. School had a poetry contest, and so we decided to uh, really put our best foot forward and we, uh, we wrote this really long uh, series of sonnets that we called Smoke Boat about um, sitting on a toilet and smoking a joint. And, and uh, we won the uh, college contest, you know. And we didn't know, you know, which one takes the prize, you know, who goes up there, because, you know, it's all for it. Anyway, I resurrected this character, Nemo Bach, this hipster who hates everything. And uh, the name of, it's from a book called The anti -Poem. Only in America, only in America, could a B-rated actor be elected president and the media refer to him as the great communicator. Only in America could an inarticulate, illiterate, moose-hunting politician from one of the most underpopulated states in the Union be given endless media coverage and a front-running nod as a leading candidate for the next president of the United States. Only in America could a former mouseketeer be dressed up like a $10 whore and perform to sold-out audiences in prepubescent offsprings of an etherized middle class. Only in America could a teenage heiress of a hotel chain mogul be given instant fame and fortune for revealing her bedroom antics at home, vid on home video graphics and her own cable television channel to frolic and indulge her most adolescent fantasies. Only in America could an only son of a foreign newspaper hierarchy be given license to steal an inveterate media conglomerate, create a programming itinerary of demagogic fascists espousing a moniker of fair and balance. Only in America can an executive officer of a corporation earn 10,000 times the salary of the lowest employee in the firm. Only in America is there an outcry for the protection of unborn fetuses while thousands of children are abused, abandoned, and ignored by the same concerned public? Only in America does a physician know more about drug treatment than human health. Only in America are the compelling truths of science overshadowed by a frightened, ignorant mass of Bible-toting fanatics and snake oil evangelists and inbred dirt farmers. Only in America are poets like me looked upon as one tier lower than a used car salesman. Sometimes they get things right. <laughs> Los Angeles. As cities go, this is no city. Boston, New York, San Francisco, Chicago, St. Louis, Hartford, Philadelphia, Dallas, Atlanta, Seattle, even Des Moines, Iowa. These are cities. Los Angeles is simply a state, a state of mind. Immigrants come here, not just for the sunshine and palm trees, of which there is plenty, but for the easy money. The quick buck and the quick climb to middle-class nirvana. If Madison Avenue is the land of huckster heaven, then Los Angeles is the land of the Hollywood dream. Hollywood, the birthplace of media as a massage. Promises fame and fortune, a house in the suburbs, a swimming pool, and two cars in every garage. Happy endings remain reserved for those with ample renown. Everything here is for sale. Everything here is on sale. 
Everyone here is from somewhere else. Three million people spread out over 500 square miles. A land like the Tower of Babel. Nobody, nowhere, speaks the same language. A land like the Isle of Sirens. No one here hears the same song. Thank you.